our inspiration was Walker Evans Strictly and we looked at a lot of his stuff and our inspiration wasn't any other black and white films but Strictly photography framing wise but also in aesthetics and whenever I found anything in corrugated iron we stopped and shot because I thought that was the coolest thing in black and white <laughs> and uh, and of course for Alice that was the first time I was able to actually shoot in America it's quite an improvised shoot with a tiny little crew and uh, we wanted I wanted to start it somewhere in the south and we didn't really have the money to go all the way to Florida so we traveled down and I said when we see the first palm trees we'll start, sh we'll start shooting and that became North Carolina so it's for some reason starts in Surf City North Carolina it was also the first road movie that I shot that little film Alice in the Cities was a way for me to discover that there was a genre where I could feel like a fish in the water and it was very liberating to shoot with such a little crew and direct sound and on the road traveling and stopping wherever I f saw something that I liked and then we invent a scene there. Did you take a lot of still photographs on that trip as well? I was still a Polaroid photographer and Alice in the Cities of course is the film where people saw for the first time the S670 land camera. We got a prototype from from them and uh, even when the film came out most people had never seen this camera where the picture came out and then you saw nothing and slowly it would develop in front of your eyes so that was the big fetish of the film that Polaroid. But you were interested in interestingly you were interested in Polaroids before that I mean what drew you to Polaroids as opposed to Leica's or printing in a, in a um, dark room? I love the idea of the there only existed one. I like the idea that you took a picture and it only existed once. Of course, you could make copies, but I never did. And I like the idea that it was, you took it once and you it existed once and it was just one piece that was entirely related to that second that you took it. And it was, there was so much truth about the act and there's nothing phony about a Polaroid because you can't fake anything. You can't interfere with the process. Mm -hmm. And once it's there, that's what it is. That's all you get. I really like that. And for years, I didn't do anything else. Later on, I went to larger format negatives and took, ser took photography more seriously. But at the time, it was the first camera you could actually do selfies with. The first camera, you can really be very spontaneous and also give those pictures away. Sometimes, I mean, people just didn't know that you could do something and then you could hand it over to them and say, keep it. 